Michelle, the investigation into that deadly derailment is just getting started, but already attention is focusing on the train's speed when it went off the tracks. Tonight, a twisted metal tragedy, a rail car dangling in the dark after an Amtrak train flies off the tracks, killing at least three people and injuring more than 70 others. Amtrak 501. Emergency, emergency, emergency. We are on the ground. The conductor radioing for help, all but one of the rail cars careening off the track south of Tacoma, Washington. Several crashing onto I-5 below during the morning commute. Things just started to tip over and as it was going around and then all of a sudden just ended up on the side and everything went dark. The train started to wobble for, for a moment. And then we were catapulted at the seats in front of us. 86 passengers and crew were on board the inaugural run of a newer, faster Amtrak route between Seattle and Portland. The train rounding a curve when it suddenly went off the rails, plunging off both sides of the overpass, crushing vehicles below. Is everybody okay? I'm still figuring that out. We got cars everywhere and down onto the highway. When I stepped out, I didn't really realize I was standing on another train car. The NTSB now investigating, looking into the train's speed, which was estimated at more than 80 miles per hour, according to Amtrak's train tracker app, much faster than the speed posted for the point where the deadly derailment occurred. We'll work closely and cooperate fully with all authorities. At this time, we will not speculate about the cause. Now, one local mayor had raised concerns about high-speed trains on this new route, saying he feared it could lead to deadly accidents like this.